Uh, checking again today. Another first. A mink right there. Never caught one of those before. It's absolutely pouring, so I'm going to keep this video pretty short for my camera, but get him taken care of and check it out. Pretty cool. So here we go. I'm all taken care of. Just partially reset this. Just kind of a little pocket set right here off the river. And uh, get this guy back. That's pretty cool. Get out checking traps today. Got another uh, spotted skunk. Take care of and then uh, do a little bit more video once I'm less paranoid. Okay, here's our spot skunk. Did spray a little bit, so I'm not going to bother resetting this for a day or two, let it air out. But uh, this is why I always carry disposable gloves and a Ziploc because I do not want to put this thing in my backpack by itself. So, anyway. Uh, and see what else we got. A couple more sets later. Looks like we got ourselves another possum. Same set what we caught one the other day in. At least we don't have any fear of this one spraying us. So anyway, we'll uh this one dispatch and take a look at it. Okay, and here's our possum. It's a female. It's the only set I've caught females in. Two of them this year. All the rest have been males. It's right along the river here. So, uh, tossed out there in there with the skunk I just caught and head on to the next one. another little trick I saw on actually another channel it's K3 trapping um, anyway I kept having all of my uh, dog proofs bait being robbed so to put a golf ball on there mice can't get into them and the raccoons will just knock it off so anyway easy cheap way to fix bait thieves so uh, I thought I'd pass along because I'm using it 